Hello everyone. Welcome to Grammar for Tuesday of week two. Today we are learning to recognise and use plural nouns in our writing. To be successful in your learning, you will be able to recognise and use plural nouns in a sentence. The word plural means more than one or more than two. Now that you know the meaning of the word plural, what do you think a plural noun is? Great, a plural noun is a noun that refers to more than one of something. Making a singular noun a plural noun can be a bit confusing as we don't always add the same letters to the end of the noun to make it plural. Do you remember learning about this in term one? What are some letters that we can add to the end of a singular noun to make it plural? You got it. Some letters that we can add are S, E, S, or I, E, S. We are going to watch a video now to help explain the rules to us, to help us remember which letters to add or change to make a noun plural. When making words plural, why do we add S to some words, but ES to others? And when a word ends in Y, how do we know whether to change Y to I before adding ES? And why on earth does knife become knives? You can unravel these mysteries with six simple scoops of ice cream. Ready? Let's dig in. The first rule is simple. To make most words plural, just add S, as in scoops and cones. The next yummy rule involves ES. If you hear the sound of is, add ES, as in dishes and boxes. This rule is just peachy. If the word ends in a consonant plus Y, change Y to I and add ES, as in cherries and puppies. And if the word ends in a vowel plus Y, just add S as in days and monkeys. Now here's the scoop on words that end in O. If the word ends in a vowel plus O, add S, as in pistachios or stereos. And if the word ends in a consonant plus O, add S, as in pianos, or ES, as in heroes. You may have to consult a dictionary because there's no solid guideline on this last one. If the word ends in F or FE, we often change the F or FE to V and add ES, as in loaves and knives. You can hear the V sound when the word becomes plural. Loaves, knives. Now some words ending in F don't change when they become plural. You don't hear a V sound, so you just add S, as in chefs and puffs. Are you getting full yet? Don't worry, we're almost out of ice cream. Our last rule is kind of, well, irregular. That's because some words don't follow the normal patterns for making plurals. Child becomes children, tooth becomes teeth, and ice, well, just stays ice. Well, that's it. Six rules, six. Hopefully, that video was a good reminder of the different rules to remember when changing a singular noun to a plural noun. A plural noun refers to more than one or two of something. Let's see if you can spot the plural nouns in these sentences. The children were especially delighted to see their friends. There are two plural nouns. Can you see them? Children and friends. Over the hill, the three billy goats were demolishing the luscious green grass. Can you see the plural noun? That's right, it's goats, more than one goat. I was so thrilled when I found out that our dog was going to have some puppies. Can you see the plural noun? That's right, puppies. There were so many fish swimming in the crystal clear water. 
Can you see the plural now? It is fish. We don't say fishes, we just say fish, even if we are talking about one, two or more. Now I'd like you to complete the plural noun activity in your work pack. 